Hi, it's Peter again um, with a quick video to show you the new features I've incorporated into Eva, Evan and ABX for using Android shortcuts. Also this new release has the ability to um, check what the battery status is and also adjust um, the screen brightness and the system volume per each active profile that you have. But that's documented in the What's News so you can read up on that. Uh, anyway, Android shortcuts are cool because they can open up different applications and pass uh, specific parameters to them. Um, so you can really do a lot of cool things with that um, in a quick way. So I've made it this several different ways you can use the shortcuts. Um, first one is using a voice command. So let me show you that. Yes, Peter. Create a new shortcut. Please select the application and enter any required parameters for this new shortcut. I say, you see here, these are all the different applications that I have on my device that support shortcuts. Um, and then, you know, some of them the system ones or whatever. So um, basically, you can do things like, you know, direct dial a contact or open a browser bookmark or open a book or, you know, directions of navigation. Some of this stuff you can already do fairly easily with Eva, um, but some of the stuff you can't. So, for example, I'm going to open up the battery settings. So I click on that settings, and that's Android settings. And you see these are the different sub screens they have and I want the battery one so I tap on that. What is the phrase you would like to use to access this shortcut? This will be what I listen for when you ask me to open it. Try to keep it short and be something that you will easily remember. Battery monitor. Please choose the best match for this shortcut. Your new shortcut is now ready to use. Okay. Yes, Peter. Just cancel. So that's pretty easy to create that. So let me show you how you use that. Basically, you just say that same phrase. Yes, Peter. Battery monitor. Battery monitor. Okay, so it doesn't get any easier than that. <laughs> so you can do that with all sorts of shortcuts and you can experiment and have fun with that. And you can also use the word open if you want, kind of like you do when you're opening an application or you're opening a bookmark, but it's it's kind of optional in this. And there's a check in there to make sure when you're specifying that phrase that you're not stepping on something else that uh, Eva already understands. So if you say something like battery status, that's, that's a new function. I'll show you that. Yes, Peter. Battery status. Battery is at 74%. So if you tried to say battery status for a shortcut, it's going to tell you that's already in use, choose something else. So just a way of making sure that you don't mess anything up that already works. So that's the first way of using these shortcuts, which is kind of neat. And um, the second way is in car mode, and you'll be look, looking and going, wow, look, everything looks different. The icons are different and, and uh, looks cool. So it's had a bit of a revamp, and I think it's much nicer. So let's go into car mode here. And you'll see when we go over here to the different screens, like you had before, when you had the custom buttons, the ones with the star on them, you, you could assign uh, anything that you want to that particular button. Now that would be any command that Eva understood. Well, now you can do a couple of different things. You can assign a command, or you can assign a shortcut, or you can assign an application directly um, to it. So, And the blank buttons now don't say custom, they're just blank. Um, so you just tap on one when you want them. So let's say I want to do the same thing that I just did, but do it to a button here. Please choose whether you want to assign one of my commands or an Android shortcut or application. Also too, if you're reassigning one of those buttons, you just long press on it for a couple of seconds and it'll bring this up. So you, as you see before, you can assign a, a voice command, and that's what we had before. So any you know voice command, like you could say battery monitor, or, and would do the same thing. Um, Android shortcut is which I just did an application, which is just opening up a regular application, and then obviously to clear that button if you don't want to have anything on it. So the same type of thing here. If I want to assign a shortcut, I'll choose something different this time. So I choose I'll choose settings again, and this time I'll choose the data usage. So I tap on that. Please enter the label you would like on this button. And you can adjust the label to whatever you want. I'll just leave it as the default there. Your new shortcut is now ready to use. And see it'll flick back there and there's my data usage button with a nice bright icon so I can tap on that. And ta-da, there's my data usage. So that's kind of neat. And let me show you um, 
if I wanted to do an application. Please choose whether you want to assign one of my commands or an Android short. Let's say I'll do Kindle. Please enter the label you would like on this button. Your new shortcut is now ready to use. Okay, so now I've got Kindle on there, and so that looks good. And now, a, a totally interesting kind of like twisting on itself thing. Please choose whether you want to assign one of my commands or an Android shortcut or application. I'll do a shortcut, and I'll choose Eva, which is kind of weird because I'm actually doing sort of setting up Eva to do a shortcut here. So we'll see what happens. Say the request phrase that you would normally ask me that will be assigned to this Android shortcut. For example, what's the weather? Or say cancel. What's the temperature? Please choose the exact phrase you want for the... Please say the name you would like for the label of this Android shortcut. Temperature. Please choose the best match for this label. Please enter the label you would like on this button. Your new shortcut is now ready to use. So you see this time I've set up a button that actually opens a EVA shortcut which will execute the command for what's the temperature. So that's the same as if I just basically did it here except this is like actually creating a shortcut. So if you don't like having the star icons on there you can do it using a shortcut and you'll get the EVA icon on there so you it's basically doing the same thing but you get the different icon so let's just try that the current temp in Clinton is 93 degrees it's hot okay so that's all that and it's all pretty cool or whatever so we can do a lot of neat things with it so let's exit out of car mode here and let me show you how this all works from back on in Android land. So let's say, and, and there's a couple of different ways to do this depending on which phone you have. If you have an older phone, generally what you do is you long press on the screen here and, and on the Samsung, you get apps and widgets option here. So choose apps and widgets. But on an older one, you'll get an option that says um, applications, whatever, and one of the things is shortcuts. So here, and so you choose shortcuts to create an EVA shortcut. So what we're doing now is basically creating a shortcut on the desktop to have EVA execute a specific um, phrase directly by tapping on that icon. So here you see, there's the regular EVA widget, which is a four by one widget. And here's this one by one widget. So if you tap on that, oh, I think you have to yeah, tap and hold it to move it. So, and then you say, I wanna drag it there into the blank spot and see it opens up Eva. Please say the request phrase that you would normally ask me that will be assigned to this Android shortcut. For example, what's the weather? Or say cancel. What's the temperature? Please choose the exact phrase you want for the shortcut. Please say the name you would like for the label of this Android shortcut. Temperature. Please choose the best match for this label. So, I mean, that's how easy it is. Basically, now I've created another icon for Eva. Instead of the name, name being Eva, the name is Temperature. So if I tap on that... The current temp in Clinton is 93 degrees. It takes me straight in there and, and uh, basically executes that phrase. And then... These shortcuts can be used for other applications and even though this app is sort of my competitor a little bit, let me show you. I, I love how it adjusts the brightness of the screen too bright. Let me dim that down a bit. So it's not so bad. Okay, close that. Oh, that didn't work. I'll try that again. Okay, better. Alright, so here, same type of thing. You can assign buttons here so when you tap on here to set to set a button you get the Android shortcuts list and so you scroll down to Eva and tap on Eva and the same type of thing comes up please say the request phrase that you would normally ask me that will be assigned to this Android shortcut for example what's the weather or say cancel what's the temperature please choose the exact phrase you want 
say the name you would like for the label of this Android shortcut. Temperature. Please choose the best match for this. Okay, so there you see it's gone and created that shortcut in, in this application and now you can just tap on that. And it takes you straight into Eva. The current temp in Clinton is 93 degrees. And of course I think you can use those shortcuts um, with Tasker as well, although I've already weighed, made a way of executing commands inside of Eva with Tasker. So anyway, that's basically to show you how you can use these new shortcuts to do all sorts of neat stuff. Um, kind of cool, just allows you to set up things and make things faster. If you like this and uh, you want to help me out a little bit, please tell all your friends. And if you like the new look and feel, um, it's not a big difference, but I think it's an improvement. Uh, you can also change that color back to red if you want for Eva. Um, but anyway, if you like the new look, um, please tell all your friends really need uh, help uh, getting the word out there and I'm trying my hardest to put in all these cool features and it doesn't seem to be making any difference whatsoever with the number of downloads I, I'm just kind of at a loss <laughs> anyway I'll just keep struggling away and making this app as cool as it can be thanks for watching